Stanislaw here with Motion VFX, and this lesson is all about using the new M Channel Modern Pack. Included are dozens of different title templates, intros, and transitions. Let's open up our title template tab inside Final Cut Pro. Then select M Channel Modern. Let's go ahead and start with an opener that's included with M Channel Modern, and I'm going to drag and drop it right into my storyline. So this looks great right away, but I'm going to make some changes to it. First, I want to shorten this a little bit here. And I noticed that as I'm playing this back, that it's revealing some of my video underneath. So I want to move this further over, but I can't do that because it's at the start of my timeline. I'll use a gap clip by going to the beginning and hitting Alt W. And now I can drag this over and this will start up and then reveal my clip underneath. I'm happy with that, so now let's go ahead and change some of the text inside the inspector. From here, I can go ahead and replace all my text that appears throughout the opener and even change the colors or customize my text to fit my style. While it's possible to change the text by clicking right in the canvas, I typically like going through and using the inspector just because all the format controls are right there, so it makes it a little bit easier and faster for me. Inside our opener, we have a spot for this logo. So I'm going to click on the drop zone and then select what I'd like to fill that drop zone with and click apply clip. Next, let's add a lower third to this project. I'll go back into my title templates and pick a lower third and place it above my clips. If you wanted to adjust this, it has an on-screen control. Otherwise, you can make all the rest of the changes as usual inside the inspector. With our opener and our lower third setup, let's go ahead and put in a background to separate this section from the rest of our videos. You can use this for say chapter titles or even segment titles inside your different projects. The opener had some red in there and I really like that. So I'll change the color to a bit of a red using the inspector. Then I'll use the on-screen controls to format my title a little bit more. If I want to, I can use this drop zone to put in footage here as well. I'm going to leave that background black, but I'll use this to set the title of this project, which is going to be the M channel tutorial using the inspector controls. I've set my background and now let's put in a couple add-ons and really make this a bit more exciting with just a few clicks. Since there's no limit to how many I can add, let's put in one more to give this just a little bit more animation. The controls make it really fast and easy to make any adjustments that I might need without having to spend a lot of time in keyframes. Inside the M Channel Modern Pack are five transitions that you can find inside the Transitions tab. But before I do that, I'm going to turn off the animation in so it doesn't build in and my transition will work across those two clips. To use any of the transitions, just drag and drop them between any two clips in your timeline. I'll use one more to transition out of that background. I'm done with my transitions, so I'll close that tab. Next, let's check out the overlays. It's a great looking way to remind your audience to like and subscribe your content.
And speaking of audiences, be sure to check out the social media templates included. So with the social media templates, even though that this one here has a YouTube logo on it, I'm just gonna move this into the bottom left corner. You can actually change between all the different platforms inside the inspector. So we can even put in our own custom logo using this drop zone. Let's play that back and see how it looks. There's way more settings for the social media icons, but we'll have to cover that in another tutorial. Now that we know how to use these different items, let's add to this opener with some more add-ons. Essentially what these add-ons are, are exactly what they sound like. They add on little extra pieces of animation to your projects. They're very modular, so I can go ahead and duplicate these and add a few of them to my scene to really start building something out, letting me create some very complicated animations without having to do a lot of the complicated animation work. One other thing I want to point out about these add-ons is you don't necessarily have to use them with the M Channel Modern Pack. You can use these in any of the projects that you may have and they're great little ways to just add some extra movement to your scenes. Let's start to finish this opener here and I'm going to drag just one more add-on on top and playing this back, I'm really happy with how much we were able to build out. Now I wanna use this same open as our close, so I'm just gonna duplicate this and drag it all the way to the end. Now I'm gonna go ahead and play this back and there'll probably just be a few changes I wanna make. I think right here at the very end, I just wanna change out that modern text. It's a little hard to read. So because I've duplicated this, I can just select this one title and just change the title color of this text without having to rebuild all my animation. To wrap up, I'm just gonna add my music to my project and let's check out how this came out. So that's the basics of using the M Channel Modern Pack. Again, my name is Stanislaw Robert Liberta with Motion VFX. And if you like this tutorial and want to see some more, make sure you hit subscribe and we'll see you next time.